My name is Louis Molina, Deputy Commissioner here at the Department of Corrections. Um, we're going to get started with the program. Um, we have a few gentlemen that may be coming in in a few minutes. We want to get started because we uh, respectful of everyone's time. So good afternoon and welcome to our Into Work graduation ceremony. You know, our agency here at DOC, we recognize that recovery and educational programs are most effective when our students have an opportunity to interact with different stakeholders. And we have a lot of great stakeholders here at DOC. Our Into Work program, we wanted our student offender population to not only learn how it is to work in the kitchen, but understand what the process is that goes from <coughs> growing food to food getting to a plate. So that was really, really important focus of the program. During the session, our class, we used vegetables grown right here at the jail, which was a wonderful thing. Um, and as part of today's ceremony, we'd like to recognize our longtime partners, as well as our people that conducted the training and the stewards of our gardens that are here with us today. I'd first like to start with um, thanking who's here with us today, Audrin Houston. He's our Aramark manager, and he has been doing our interwork training program, which provide our students um, the skills, the knowledge, and, the, and most importantly, the credentials to be able to connect with jobs once you have been released from, from, our, from, the, from the agency, which is a really, really good thing. And Audwin has been a dynamic instructor in the classroom. He has really invigorated a passion for food preparation and proof service in our students. So thank you, Audwin, for all that you do. We also have with us from Family Services of Westchester, Ms. Janet Dona. Um, Janet, each week during the growing season, she stands alongside our female offenders in their garden, and she's, it is truly a labor of love what she's able to do with our female population. You know, Janet could be other places, but she chooses to be here. She's really a mentor to many of the females that are in our gardening program, and she really has shown that gardening can really be a therapeutic process. So, Janet, thank you for all that you do for us here at DOC. <laughs> and from Feeding Westchester, we have Doug Decadia and Denise Tatojan. Um, you know, Westchester, you know, here today, we, as the leaves change um, and winter starts to come in, um, Doug's work begins to sort of wind down here at our garden. You know, he's, a, he's amazing, not just at the Give Back Garden here at DOC, but he works at other large gardens in Westchester County. Uh, we have our neighbors at Woodfield Cottage Garden. He works at the New York School for the Deaf's Garden and the Westchester Land Trust. Ultimately, the produce that's raised at these gardens really helps to provide meals for families that feel the effects of food insecurity or just don't have enough money to really have a full meal on their plate. So Doug, thank you for everything that you do for us here at DOC. Our gardens we wouldn't be without, without you. And Doug's partner uh, from Feeding West Church, Dennis Tatojan, Denise Tatojan, she has been amazing. She has come to do some cooking classes here at DOC and worked with our, our students last Tuesday. She taught the graduates how to make fresh guacamole and salsa. And in her next session, Denise will be again partnering with our female population to show them how to make smoothies and teas with many of the herbs that are grown in the female garden. So Denise, thank you for all that you do. Um, it really makes a difference, in, and especially in our female population's lives and, and the lives of all of our, the men and women that are here at DOC. So thank you very much for what you do. <laughs> so now I'd like to introduce our commissioner from the Department of Corrections, Commissioner Joseph K. Spano. Thank you, Deputy Commissioner Molina, and good afternoon, everyone. So what do you think, gentlemen? Did you expect this kind of turnout for your graduation? Not at all. Not at all. <laughs> Media coverage, DOC, executive staff, county executive, George Latimer, chairman of the Board of Legislators, Mr. Benjamin Boykin, and our deputy county executive, Ken Jenkins. Why are they here? They're here because they, they align with our core mission. They, they have all over the years made numerous contributions to this department in the way of supporting rehabilitation and reentry programs, and they continue to do so. They're here because they want to see the results of those programs and services. They're here because, like us, they care. And the same can be said for our friends in Aramark, 
We talked about Audwin. Donna, you know, you work closely with the two of those individuals, but they had five or six executive members come in here today to participate with this graduation ceremony. And the same can be said for our friends from Family uh, Services of Westchester and certainly Feeding Westchester. It's a big deal, gentlemen. It's a big deal to all of us, and I sincerely hope that it's a big deal for all of you because it represents change. You, didn't, you weren't forced into this program. You expressed interest, and I thank you for that. And then you worked really hard for five weeks to make sure that you graduated and received a certificate, a certificate that is good for three years, gentlemen, a Serve Safe certificate. That's just phase one. You know that. You know about the Interwork program and what opportunities lie ahead when you leave here. And that's part of this. You know, we don't, at DOC, we don't judge you. We assess, we treat, we rehabilitate, we get you ready for reentry. But when you leave here, it's on you, gentlemen. You have to take the next step. And the good news regarding this program, there are next steps. And I'm going to ask Nicole to talk more about that program, but you know when you leave here, you're going to get access to an interwork portal. You'll be able to identify, identify employment opportunities and scholarship opportunities. It's a big deal, but it's only a big deal if you really take advantage of it, gentlemen. And I mean that sincerely. And that aligns with our core mission. We're working hard to get you to a better place when you leave here, we don't forget about you. We hope that you take advantage of the programs and services that are available to you outside. And I, Warden Middleton told me this morning he ran into a young man who graduated from our last Into Work culinary program, working at a food service agency in Mount Vernon. And he said the following. He said, I got the job because of the certificate and more than that, because I had it, they gave me four more dollars an hour to start. He took advantage of it. He's on a better path. And I don't hesitate to say this because I mean it, gentlemen. You owe it to yourselves, you owe it to your families, and you owe it to your communities to take advantage of it as well and to get to a better place. Congratulations. We are very proud of you, and we wish you great success when you leave here. I mean that sincerely. You deserve a round of applause. Thank you. Before I, I invite the county exec to say a few words, I, this program is, is so powerful. I want Nicole from Aramark to come up and talk a little bit about it in more detail. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you. Well, first, congratulations. Um, it's amazing to see um, here that we had 12 graduates for our second class, um, all thanks to Alwyn and, and the team here at Westchester. Um, you know, we, at Airmark, we value the partnership we have with the Westchester DOSA, and we were proud to really pilot this interwork municipal program here. Um, be, seeing such a huge success, it really is near and dear um, to my heart. Um, so really, for those who don't know what interwork is, is, is it our, Airmark's phase training program. Here we offer two phases, the first one being Kitchen Basics, leading up to that Serve Safe certification that everybody received and everybody passed. Um, so, you know, with that Serve Safe certificate, um, it is our hopes that you will go out once you're released. <coughs> you'll go out and you'll use this. You'll use it to get a job in food service, in some type of hospitality industry. Um, but I did want to touch upon the two post-release options that we do have. Um, the first one is our Interwork Scholarship. Um, I can't stay enough. Uh, we actually have four dedicated scholarships to the graduates of the program here at Westchester. Okay, so that's four for the whole entire year. Um, I urge you to apply. Okay, there is no, besides having a, a high school diploma or a GED, all you have to do to apply is really write a short essay on kind of what you did, you know, while you were here to better yourself. Obviously, that, that answer can be into work or any any other program that you thought you know, is significant, um, and what you are planning to do with the scholarship. Those are the two things you have to write, um, and, and 
then you're eligible to be put in for the scholarship. Again, there's four, so I can't urge you enough once you get out to look into it. Um, we do have all the information that Audwin will provide to you and Justin will provide to you, um, you know, upon your release. Um, and we also have uh, the portal that the commissioner mentioned. So this Interwork portal will put you in contact with People Ready, who is a national contingent staffing company, and we'll be able to build you an Interwork resume on that site, or you'll be able to upload your own resume, um, and you'll be able to use that um, to look for employment in the local area. Okay, um, it's almost like a job search board like you would kind of anywhere else. And you would use it you know, to make sure that any postings that you do have, um, you know, links to apply to those and all the um, employment that's available. So again, I do urge you to take a look into that, take advantage. You earned that certificate, you <coughs> earned this graduation. Um, so those things, again, are you know, your post-release options that I can't urge you enough um, to use as a resource. Okay, again, congratulations. Um, this is something that, you know, I, I think that all of you should be proud that you're here, um, being able to, again, earn the certificate and then use it once you're out, okay? Um, I also make myself available if there are any questions about the scholarship. So we can, you know, contact on those, you know, once you're out and I can put you in the right place to make sure that you have all the information you need for that as well, okay? Thank you. Sure. Thank you, Nicole. Great program. We're really proud to be a part of it. And now it's, it's a real pleasure to introduce someone who's become a bit of a regular up here, and we're very proud of that as well, our county executive, George Latimer. Well, gentlemen, I'm very happy to be with you here today, and I compliment you on what you've accomplished. And I think it's important to understand that is an accomplishment that you've done. This is something that uh, marks you as a person that can, uh, that can show your talent and that that talent can be reflected in the, in the days and the years to come. Um, before I, uh, you know, went into the career path in government, I had a career in the hotel industry. And I've learned over the years that both in the restaurant business and in the hotel business, it's how well you do what you do that matters. You don't have to get an MBA. You don't have to go to Cornell or the very top schools and have uh, paper degrees. You have to show that you've got the talent and the ability to be able to work. And in this industry, you're in an industry that's growing. People are going out to dinner and, and food service uh, programs and companies are exploding. So in some fields, there aren't many jobs. In this field, there's a great opportunity for you going forward. And I've got the waistline to prove it. <laughs> but, but I have to tell you that, you know, and, and I know how I felt. My, my dad um, spent his life as a maintenance person. He was maintenance, head of maintenance, ultimately at Beach Point Club in Mamaroneck. And I don't know how my dad looked at himself, but I was always very proud of my father. Now, as years have gone by, I've met people whose fathers were governors, whose fathers were top lawyers and Wall Street bankers and all that. But I'm just as proud of my father, who's been gone now for almost 30 years, as I was when I knew him, because he was a symbol to me. He was somebody that, who was a man, and he knew how to be a man. And I, when I was a kid, looking at him, I, I wanted to be like him. Now, my career is nothing like his, and I don't have some of the talents that he has, and I developed talents that he didn't have. But if you have children of your own, if you have a son of your own or a daughter of your own, I'm sure when they look at you, that's what they see. They see their father. They see somebody that they love, and somebody that they want to look up to and respect, and somebody that has a talent and a skill, and they want to be like you. And, and when you go out there in this world and you take the talents that you have, we put this experience as a learning experience, it goes behind you and you go forward, that you go forward and achieve. And, and that person in your life, that woman in your life, that the children that you may have or you may yet have look at you the way I looked at my father, that's your accomplishment. This is, this is the man that you are the man that you're proving to people that you can be and, and what you can do to accomplish these things. We did something in county government that was very simple a couple months ago, and I think uh, Ben Boykin, who's going to speak to you in a second, who heads the legislature, is going to do this for all companies in Westchester County. We passed a rule that said on an application for a job, we are not going to have a box on it that you have to check off and indicate whether you've ever been arrested or you've ever uh, had to pay a debt to society. We don't want that on the application. Now, it may be that that comes up in a job interview down the line and you explain the circumstances of what happened in your life. But then at that point, you can also explain what you've done with your life. And you can give a balanced view, not just check a box off and be eliminated from consideration. 
And if the Board of Legislators passes this as well, then that's going to apply to every corporation in Westchester County, no matter what kind of a job it is, big job, little job. And, and we want you to be treated for you, the person that you are, and then how well you perform. Because again, and not, uh, obviously this would be true for adult women as well, but you're men. You should be treated like men. And in this world, you get, you get a second chance. And you make the most of that second chance, and I believe that's what you're doing today. I can smell the result behind me. <laughs> and it smells pretty good. Too bad I ate lunch already. But, uh, but that's really what we have to be about in government. We have to be about trying to reach out a hand as a friend, as a partner to everybody. And there are people for whom circumstances have led them to a situation. But that doesn't mean that we just wave them off then and that they cease to being men and they cease to being important. You're important to us. And I'm glad that you've taken this step, and I hope this step leads to future success. And I hope if I see you out in the community when, when you're out of here, and if you're working someplace, and if you happen to know I'm in the room, because like I said, I'm eating all the time. If you see me out there, I want you to come out and say, hey, George, and I go by first name. I don't worry about the title stuff. You say, George, I met you that day back in the Penn Chapel, and I'm John Smith, and uh, I want you to know, you know I'm making it. And that would make me very, very happy. And I'm sure that'll make the woman in your life very happy, and it'll make your children very happy. They'll look at you the way I looked at my father. You don't have to be no investment banker dad. You just have to be my dad. And I know that's what you want for your children. God bless you, men. Go out there. And best of luck to you. Now it's a real privilege to introduce Chairman of the County Board of Legislator, Le Legislators, Benjamin Boykin. Thank you, Commissioner Spano. Um, on behalf of all 17 members of the County Board of Legislators, I'm very proud to be with you today. And let me say congratulations on this major milestone. I've joined today by our Chief of Staff, Dennis Powell, and I've also joined by the Assistant to the Chairman, Lucy Ortiz, who's with me today. Gentlemen, you've achieved a milestone. You've come to a fork in the road, and we want you to take that fork and make the correct decision with it, because this provides for you today a major opportunity to move forward. You know, you've had a bump in the road, but you're, going, you're getting beyond that. You've decided to go into this program to better yourself. So seize this moment and make it valuable and beneficial. You know, we all got to eat. Hey, if you live, you eat, you know. Um, and we all love good food. And I'm, I'm smelling the results of the work that we're going to taste shortly. You know, I grew up on the farm, and I understand you, you got the farm here, and you got, you know, this is, I guess, farm to table. I mean, when I grew up on the farm, we went out, picked it, and cooked it. I didn't know it was called farm to table, but that's what it is. Um, but Cooking and eating good food is very important. We like good food. My father was a farmer. He was also a cook. I don't know the governor he cooked for in North Carolina. I actually want to ask my brother, who's a historian, to find out what governor my father cooked for for about four years in Raleigh, North Carolina. But what I say is use this as an opportunity to better yourself. So when we're around, when George is out there, when I'm out there, when Dennis is out there, Lucy is out there, or other members of the Board of Legislators are out there and we see you, come over and say hello and say, you know, I own this restaurant. This is mine. Look at the number of employees I have. You can make this happen. Like I say, you're here now, but you're going to move on and look back on this as the day that it took you to the next level. So we're very proud and pleased that you've graduated and you're going to get your certificate. Graduation is very important. Seize the moment and move it to the next level. Thank you very much. Powerful stuff, right, gentlemen? How you're feeling now, you really need to hold on to that and take advantage of it. And I know, I know most of you are going home soon. So you, you really you need to stay focused, take advantage of this opportunity. You can tell it's real with us. We are interested in seeing all of you get to a better place. 
now I'm going to invite Odwin up here to join me. Odwin's our on-site food service manager for Aramark, along with being a great partner. He's a good friend. <coughs> I'm going to ask you to say a few words there, Odwin. I know you hate to do that. <laughs> and, uh, and then we're going to give out some certificates. Thank you, Commissioner. Good afternoon, everyone. Yeah. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yes, I prefer to stay in the background, and I just want to recognize our honor guests here tonight. And um, to whom much is given, much is required. And you've heard very powerful remarks this afternoon. And some of us have been given things in our life that we wanted to give back. So thinking about this day today, I kind of a lot of thoughts was going through my mind. I was saying to myself, it says, you know, the county of Westchester and Aramark partnered together and decided that we're going to give you something. Society may say that you have taken a lot from them. But then I started reflecting and said, isn't it great that you can come to a facility and there are a bunch of people that are within our government and within our community care so much that wanted to give you something and willing to make the sacrifice to give you that. So I was blessed, you know, with the knowledge that I can teach you. So to whom much is given, much is required. So the knowledge that I impart to you today in throughout the classes, along with Mr. Jeffrey, um, <coughs> there's a requirement with that. So now you've gotten the knowledge. So what are you gonna do about it? I wanna encourage you, just like I said in every class, you are the tip of the spear for Westchester, okay? You can turn our community around. The last graduation, I made a remark, and I says, Westchester can become a hub for all the job vacancy that we have with our community when it comes to the food service. I would like to know that I can contribute to that, that all the restaurants and all the eatery in Westchester, I want them to look at Westchester County Jail and says, when is your next graduation? Because we got jobs for these guys. And I challenge anyone here with these group of graduates that we have, you put them in any restaurant, some of the guys that are working for food service for years don't have the knowledge that some of them have. And I put you guys up to any one of them because I know what I'm talking about. Because I've interviewed a lot of candidates that come for a job, and you would ask them how many ounces in a gallon, and they're telling me six to four. But if I ask any one of you guys how many ounces in a gallon, you're going to tell me what? Thank you very much, 128. But the base of the knowledge is that the focus was not just to pass the test. Anybody can pass a test. Okay, you teach them well enough and say, this is the answer for the test. I'm going to teach you towards the test. That's not what was our focus. Our focus was to empower them with the knowledge necessary to function and learning all the basic things they have. So there's a lot of people today that I can thank, uh, but first I want to thank my team. I want to thank Donna Blackman. Um, um, Donna, stand up, let them recognize you today. I want to thank Jeffrey. Jeffrey's my assistant teacher. He helped me with the class. Yeah. I want to thank all the support team from Aramark that is here today. I want to thank our HR uh, Vice President is there, Jen Redis, that is here today. Um, Jen, the guy that's going to pay for the scholarship, he's here today. And that's that guy, John McFadden. He's the guy with a purse string. John, stand. <laughs> and my district manager, um, John, I was messing your name up. I don't know why I keep doing that. Messina. All right, John Messina is our district manager. And of course, Dennis, you know, you're always welcome. You're always here with us. But the support that we have for this class, I cannot not help mentioning Ward Militant. I mean, Commissioner, I always say this before. Ward Militant work hand in hand. He makes sure that the guys are there in time for class. So these are people that are behind the scene that cares for you. And I want you to make sure that you recognize that today. You make sure the guys are there for class, you know, we collaborate with everything and throughout the whole process, Ward Militant has been there with us and making sure that everything is done right. 
So, Warden, I want to publicly thank you for all your support and all your help uh, throughout this process. And thank God that we have a commissioner. But not forgetting um, Justin, because before the commissioner came on board with his responsibility, I remember Justin put us in a room. And Nicole, everybody was there in this big room, and he says, look, this is the program. We're going to make, take our program to the next level. And I said to myself in that room, I said, this guy is serious. You know, he's really talking up a good game. But, <laughs> you know, but he put his money, you know, he said he was really serious. I said, man, I, when I get out to the meeting, I remember talking to my boss. I says, you know what? This guy seems to be very serious about this program thing. We really got to rev it up to the next level. And then the commissioner was appointed. Well, I figured, well, now we got a commissioner. It's going to be something different. And then a commissioner came, and he said the same exact thing. I was like, man, these guys are really serious about this program thing. Finally, we got somebody that is really serious and dedicated and focused on what is important for this facility. And I'm all in. So I says, you know what? I got a team that support the endeavor and the vision, support that. What I want to impart to this, these, the, uh, the, the staff in the kitchen, at one time I said to the commissioner, I said, Commissioner, why don't we let everybody in the kitchen do an interwork program and certify food service worker? He said, Mr. Hudson, you may not have no guys working in the kitchen if you would make sure all of them are certified. <laughs> but, but it's true, because I can stand here today and tell you that almost 60% of the staff that you see, that are, these gentlemen that are sitting here are the staff of the kitchen. So 60% right now is certified food service worker in the kitchen and serves as certified. So congratulations, gentlemen. And I thank you very much for your hard work. And like we hear about Mr. Romer, um, Mario getting $4 more, I want to hear some more of those stories. So when you leave here, when you get out here, I want you to call me back up and say, hey, Ms. Dutz, you know what? I'm working on X. I'm working on this place. I'm work and when I visit Westchester, I want, hey, Ms. Hudson, come. I got a sandwich for you. So I want to hear from you, okay, so that we can encourage the next class and the next class and the next class, all right? And with that being said, I, I just want us to get a little flavor of some of the, hear from some of these gentlemen today. So at this time, I'm going to call um, Jason. Jason, I want you to come and share with us and the group here today um, how this was beneficial to you and what you have gained from the class. Jason, come on. Um, well, thank you, everybody, for coming, first of all. First, I would like to thank um, Aramark and the warden for the opportunity for this class. It was, um, helped me a lot, and I know it helped my, my fellow, I would say, colleagues out. So, um, um, so it, it did a lot. I learned a lot. learned a lot of stuff I didn't know. When I go back home and cook stuff, I'm definitely going to do it differently. Um, so, like I said, thank, thank Aramark, thank the warden, um, thank um, Mr. Hudson, and I thank um, our teacher, great teacher Jeff, um, Jeffrey Vaden, a.k.a. Chef Jeff. And, um, and um, he used a lot of his um, knowledge from the Food Network and implemented it in our class, which I thought was beneficial to everybody. So um, that's something I'm going to take with me for a long time. So that's, that's what I have to say. Thank you, Jason. Also, I'm going to call Edwin. Um, Edwin. Uh, you want to come and share with us what you have taken out of class. Edwin is my baker in the kitchen. So if you get anybody who's looking for a baker, Edwin is a baker. Thanks. All right, thank you for showing up, everybody. My name is Edwin, um, as you know. Uh, a lot of the stuff that we did learn in the class, me personally, I've worked in food service. I've never had the opportunity that, we had, that I got here from getting some of the knowledge on, like, some basic stuff on, like, how many quarts are in, you know, the, or how to convert pounds from uh, something from the bakery, turn it into ounces to, you know, how many gallons you have to put in for a 50 pound bag of biscuit mix and stuff like that. Basic, basic things, you know, and then, you know, um, it's always good to know the whys as to why is it, you know, good to like wash your hands and be very, you know, a lot more, more than the fact that, you know, to have things clean for food it's going, people are uh, eating it, you know, but also um, things like sanitizing after you clean the surface. You know, why is it important to let it air dry rather than wipe it down? Um, and yeah, I mean, you know, I got a great opportunity to learn something that I didn't have, knowledge that I didn't have before coming here, you know, and I'm definitely going to be looking forward to 
finding a job in the food industry and this is definitely going to help me you know to step into that door you know thank you guys thank you edwin and i want to take one more uh mr collins i'd like you to come and, and share with us and um what you've taken for the class and I want to say uh, I thank God for us coming here today together uh, for this graduation. And also I want to thank uh, Armac for the great work they're doing for us and also for this uh, jail itself. Um, I would say it's a rescue for me personally. I've never been in jail before, but it opened my eyes to so many things. And I want to say thank you guys for what you have done for us. Now going out to the community, it's gonna open a, a big door for me to look into another avenue to look for work and also help my family. And that's just a sample. And um, I'm looking to have a larger class uh, next semester, which is in a couple of weeks. Uh, we'll be starting up back again, but like I said, I wanna challenge and seeing that we have the county exec here and. Um, I would like you to look to Westchester when you're looking for people to staff the work in the culinary industry. Look to us because my goal and my vision, this is my personal ambition, is to be able to, so, given the opportunity to supply Westchester with a necessary skill set when it comes to food service. Um, so, and this could be a hub and this could be a beacon where with, hey, you want good people that work in food service industry, look to Westchester to change that stigma and that dynamics of all we do is hugs and a bunch of guys in jail and they sit around playing cards. It removes that stigma. So with that being said, I say congratulations to all of you. And now we're gonna do the best part, right? Hand out the certificates, right? Uh, <laughs> Commissioner? Well, I'm gonna invite our three dignitaries up as well because uh, I think they would be more than happy to take a photo with each of you gentlemen with your certificate in hand, as, as well as uh, would I. Okay. Mr. Byrne. Michael De Stefano. Jonathan Terry.
Edwin Rodriguez. John. John. Yes. 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 Eduardo. How about a round of applause for our graduates? I have to tell you, Audwin, for someone who doesn't like public speaking, that was, uh, that was pretty impressive stuff. Uh, but guys, really, um, congratulations on behalf of everyone here today. We wish you great things in the future. Now we're going to enjoy some of that fine food you put together for us. Great job. Thank you.